And we is live, right? Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is mobilize the body. As this is the Saturday shift, we're gonna shift the body from top to bottom. But as Nina is saying, we're gonna go more upper body. But at the moment, all we're gonna do is just mobilize that body, right? So what I'd like you to do is start rolling the arms back in big round circles. So draw imaginary big lines around. There we go, good, big, huge, wicked, wicked. And then we're gonna go from reverse to forward in three, two, one, and we go forward, we go forward. There we go, big arm rolls, big arm rolls. Get those shoulders nice and lubricated, well done. Awesome work. And then what I would like to do is just bring your arms up like this, so your elbows are level to the floor, and then twist to the torso, come to the middle, pause, and then just twist. Every time that you twist, try and go a little bit further in your twist, but not too far, so that you start getting a little bit ambitious, and we allow injury to come in. So we just wanna be flexing the hips, twisting the midsection, get that core engaged, and we're gonna do one, and then what we're gonna do is bring our arms out, bring our arms out, and then we're gonna roll them forward. Roll them forward, roll them arms forward. There we go, good, roll them arms forward. We're gonna go one way, five, four, three, two, one, and then we're gonna go back. We're gonna go back the other way, roll them back. So we're getting some nice lactic acid coming into those shoulders. And then once we're gonna be stopping this roll in three, two, one, we're gonna bring them down, shake them up. We're gonna feel that blood flow, feel that blood flow, just shake the hands out, lift the knee up. And let's go, raise it up, raise it up. Wicked, wicked, nice. And then put your hands on the hips and roll, roll, roll right over. Any side that you want, any side that you want, roll it right over. Get those hips nicely mobilized, lubricated, ready for that shift. After three, two, one, we're gonna go the other way. We're gonna go the other way. Wicked. Good work. Brilliant. Nice. As we roll, keep on rolling for the next five, four, three, two, one. And then we squat. As we squat and we come up, we're gonna go big arm rolls again. Squat, big arm rolls again. Squat, big arm rolls again. We're gonna do this for the next 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five. As we count down and it gets to zero, we're just gonna have a little jog on the spot. Three, two, one, little jog on the spot. Little jog on the spot, nice. Jog on that spot, jog on that spot. Nice, keep it nice and bouncy on them toes. Nice, good, the balls to the feet. Nice, don't allow the heels to go down. Just keep the knees nice and flexed. Wicked work, wicked, brilliant. Okay, so how are we gonna start off the session? I'm gonna go a full 10 minutes non-stop. We're gonna go from upper body, we're gonna go midsection, lower body, go back to midsection, and then upper body. It's gonna go in waves. So there won't be no specific timing, as in one minute rounds or anything like that. It will just be 10 minutes, full on. Get the burn, shift the body from top to bottom. So, we're gonna calm this down, calm this down, shake it out, hydrate yourselves, hydrate yourselves, and I'm gonna put 10 minutes on the clock, and we are gonna go for it. The first thing that we're gonna need is kettlebell. Get a kettlebell first of all, okay? After the kettlebell, we're gonna go dumbbells or weights, whatever you've got. Okay, as the timer goes on, we are gonna make this proper on. So, kettlebell at the ready. Standing, slightly shoulder than, slightly wider than shoulder width. You are going to be raising the kettlebell up in an upright row manner. Make sure that your elbows are always higher than your wrist. Make sure that the kettlebell is close to the body as you continue the motion. 
from top to bottom. When you are at the bottom, do not stop. When you are at the top, again, do not stop. Keep the tension on. And we're gonna be doing this for the next five seconds. After five seconds, we're gonna put it on our shoulder and we're gonna start pressing it. Three, two, one. Put the kettlebell on one of your shoulders. Stand nice and strong and we're gonna press it. We're gonna press it. There we go. Shoulder pressing with the kettlebell. Brilliant work. Keep this rhythm going for another 10 seconds. And hopefully my voice should keep on going. And we do not want it fading out right now. So we've got five, four, three, two, one, and we're gonna change arms. Nice and secure, and the, that's it, wicked work. Right, so the internet is once again unstable. Just bear with me and keep on going. We are shoulder pressing, shoulder pressing. Wicked work, brilliant work, excellent. What we're gonna do after 10 seconds is raise the kettlebell as high as it goes. We're gonna grab it with both hands. We're gonna hold it by the horns and we're gonna allow the bottom part of our arm to move only and it's gonna go behind our head and we're gonna go into tricep overhead extensions. In three, two, one, we press it, we grab the kettlebell by the horns and we only allow the bottom part of the arm to move or the top part of the arm depending how you're looking at it. So we are now going into overhead, tricep, extension. Wicked, nice work, nice work, good. So after 10 seconds, what we're gonna do is bring the kettlebell right down, hold it in front of us with both hands and we are gonna go into stiff-legged dead lift. Lower back, midsection, glutes, hamstrings, three, Two, one, we bring the kettlebell down, we hold it right in front of us, get a slightly wider than shoulder width, hip hinge, and then gently carry, cradle that kettlebell down to the floor. You can touch it on the floor, but you don't have to, because that would give you continued tension, and with the continued motion, you are working that muscle, muscle, you are working that muscle to its optimal performance. We are stiff-legged, deadlifting right now. I want you to be aware of the involvement from the midsection. Tighten those abs. When you are at the top, squeeze those glutes. Contract those glutes. Make sure that your body is a unit, a hard unit of muscle, strength, ability, contraction, whatever word that you wanna be using that connects with the movement that you're doing now. Use it, visualize it. After five seconds, we are gonna come up and we are gonna upright row at the same time. Simultaneous movement as we combine movements from bottom to top. Three, two, one, and we go. So stiff legged deadlift, upright row. Stiff legged deadlift, upright row. There you go. We are only gonna do this for 15 more seconds. After 15 more seconds, the countdown is now. We are gonna let go of the kettlebell and we are gonna find a bit of furniture, a stool, a chair, a sofa. We're gonna put our elbows on it and we are gonna lie back on it and we're gonna have our legs out with our feet planted on the floor and we are gonna go into glute bridges. Four. Midsection, lower back, glutes and hands. Three, two, one. So you've got to find yourself a seat. Put your elbows on that seat. Come out. And you are going to glute bridge, hip thrust. At the top, you're going to stop. So make sure when you go right at the top of the glute bridge, you are stopping. Nice and tight. I want you to feel your midsection. I want you to be aware of the real internal focus known as the core. Is the muscle group that is facilitating 
this particular movement. Yes, you are feeling it in the glutes. Yes, you are feeling it in the hamstrings. And yes, you are feeling it in the shoulders. But the main objective is to make that abdominal region tight. Keep the abs tight. After this, in 15 seconds, we are going to put our hands on the bench, on the seat, on the sofa, and we're going to find ourselves in an upright, seated, tricep extension position. And then what we're going to do is keep the glute thrust going. Three, two, one. And now what we do, we put our hands on and we dip down. We dip down really low, and then as we come up, we glute thrust, we glute bridge. So we go right down to the bottom, and then we glute bridge, glute thrust. The same movement what you've been doing for the past 45 seconds. You are gonna make that stomach nice and tight. You are gonna make sure that your body is solid throughout this whole movement. Do not allow any kink in your armor. Make sure that you are solid throughout. And after five more seconds, you are gonna hold it in place and we are gonna hold this tricep extension plank for the next 10 seconds. We go up now and we hold, we hold. So if you can see me, we are now stable. We are now stabilizing, we are holding. Hold that glute bridge and we're gonna hold it for 10 seconds. After 10 seconds, we're going to let go and we're going to swap our position and get into a standard plank position on the bench, the seat, the chair, the stool, whatever you are using. Five, four, three, two, one. We come out of that hold and we go into the plank hold. Leaning, leaning on that body. Leaning on that chair, on that stool, from the body. That's it. Nice planking. We hold the plank. Wicked work. We're going to hold this plank, right? We're going to hold it for 20 seconds. After 20 seconds, five of those seconds have gone. We're going to get up and we're going to get a kettlebell. When we get a kettlebell, we're going to throw the kettlebell on the horns. So the base of the kettlebell is underneath our chin. We've done 10 seconds. We've got 10 seconds left. And what we're going to do, we're going to squat with that kettlebell underneath our chin. So we're gonna go into goblet squatting. We've got five more seconds left and we're gonna get that kettlebell to go into the goblet squat. And we get that kettlebell now. So you grab that kettlebell, throw it so that you're holding it by the horns and what we do, we goblet squat. We goblet squat. We goblet squat. There you go. Nice, tight movement. And what we're gonna do now is after 10 seconds, we're gonna extend the movement and go from the bottom to the top whilst maintaining that real hard, tight hold in the midsection, which we have now worked to oblivion. In three, two, one, we are gonna press. Press as well. So squat, press. Goblet squat, press. Wicked, we're doing really well. You are doing really well. Awesome work. Awesome work. Brilliant. Keep this rhythm going. Keep the flow going. After 10 seconds, we're going to bring the kettlebell down to the bottom position. Hold it so it's just dangling down. And we are going to go into swings. Three, two, one. And we go. Eye level swings. Eye level swings. There you go. If the kettlebell is too light for two armed swings, then just hold it with one hand. Keep it going. Keep it going, lady and gent. We have got 15 more seconds from the 10 minute session that we have just had. Wicked work. Wicked work. Five, four, three, two, yes. Well done. Well done, that was immense. That was immense. Well done. Small breather, small breather. As I change this diabolical sounding noise. 
and let's get it on something that's going to make a difference to our mood, to our shift. Right, so the next session, I'm going to call it a session in its own right. We're going to go for another 10 minutes, right? And it's going to be full on. We're going to start with body, just your body is only needed, okay? We'll go into some cardio, and then we'll go into some core movements, lower body, upper body. You're going to need your dumbbells, your plates nearby. We're going to go into the lower abdominal movements. So there's going to be a lot of shifting around with the body, which makes sense because this is a Saturday shift. So what I would like you to do is just be aware. Hopefully this internet will stay and we will have this nice, fine streaming connection that we can nicely, fine, timely stream this workout. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to do is start with jumping jacks, okay? So we're going to go for a little bit of cardio, okay? So jumping jacks. So when you're ready, we are going to go another 10 minutes. Jumping jacks, jumping jacks. There we go, good. Keep the balls of your feet bouncy. Keep your knees nice and flexed. Keep your hips, again, nice and flexed. Allow the suppleness, allow the bounce. Allow the elastic, there you go. Allow the cushion. Get yourselves into rhythm. As the legs go wide, the arms come up. We're gonna do this for the next 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And my my zone is coming off. Right, so what we're gonna do is go into mountain climbers. Mountain climbers, and we go. Mountain climbers, there we go. Good work, keep it going. Keep the mountain climbers going. I've got to change this. Keep it going, keep it going. And now, after you do the mountain climbers, pause, pause the mountain climbers. And we're gonna go into 10 second plank. 10 second plank. Pause the mountain climbers. 10 seconds plank. 10 seconds plank. There you go, the internet cut out. Let's go with it, keep on going with it. Five, four, three, two, one. We go side plank. Side plank, hold that side plank in, and we go five, four, three, two, one. We change sides, change sides, side plank in. Five, four, three, two, one. Right, what I'd like you to do now is get on all fours and get into a press up position. And what we're gonna do is alternate lizard lunges, alternate lizard lunges. You're gonna bring one knee up and it's gonna go towards the elbow that you have got static, stationary, solid, out in front of you, holding your upper body up. So you are in a press up position and you are bringing your knees up to your elbows. Alternate the legs, work that midsection, work the upper body, work your legs, hip flexors, glutes, hamstrings, stomach, shoulders, the whole lot for another five, four, three, two, one. I would like you to get on your back, get on your back, raise your legs up and point your fingers to the sky. Point your fingers to the sky and you're gonna crunch up. Crunch up, crunch your stomachs up. Make sure when you are crunching up, your chin is above your chest. Your shoulders are just about raising themselves from the floor. When you return, just allow the shoulders to tap the floor. 
and then you're going back up again. Abdominal crunches. Keep it going for another five, four, three, two, and then I want you to put your hands underneath your butt so you're cushioning your lower back. Raise your legs up. If you want, you can place them on the seat and we are going to go into scissors. Scissors, cut that out. Make sure that your lower back is cushioned. Make sure that you are securing the area which is now vulnerable and you want to maintain it solidly, keeping your rhythm, keeping the movement going, shifting the body. Yes, through the full ranges of motion that your body is allowed to do. We are going to be doing this for the next 10 seconds. After that, we are going to get up and get some weights. After we get the weights, we're going to work on the shoulders. Five, four, three, two, one. And we're going to get some weights. Get your weights. And we're going to go into side lateral angled raises. Side lateral angled raises. Good work. Good work. Side lateral angled raises. 10 more seconds. Then we're going to go into front raises. Front raises. Five, four, three, two, one. Front raises. Front raises. Make sure that when you bring your weights down, they do not touch your thigh. Make sure it's all solid, tight throughout the whole of the movement. Keep the tension on the muscle. Intended. Front shoulder, rear shoulder, medial shoulder, the whole shoulder. Yes, all aspects. And then after five seconds, we're gonna bend ourselves over, hip hinging, chest level to the floor, rear shoulder raises, and we go. We put our chest ready, ready, level to the floor. And we go into rear shoulder raises. Keep this movement going. Every time that you raise your arms, make sure your thumbs are pointing forward, not up. Make sure your thumbs are pointing forward, not up. We've got another five seconds for this one. Three, two, one. We're gonna get up and we're gonna upright row with the same weight. Every part of the shoulder has been worked through these four movements of side lateral angled raises, front shoulder raises and rear shoulder raises. Now, gel together, embodied together with the upright row. Trapezius, anterior, medial, posterior, shoulders. Keep this going, five more minutes, five more seconds, not minutes, and we're gonna add a shoulder press. Get all of those shoulders that we've been working for the last two minutes, blend them together and go compound. Three, two, one. We have the weights beside our ears and we are now pressing, pressing, pressing. Wicked work, wicked work. Awesome work everyone, great work. Keep the tension on no matter what you're doing. Make sure that when the weights are coming down, they are only coming down beside the ears. Keep this flow going. After three, two, one, bring the arms down, and we go into bicep curl. Bicep curl, and you're gonna feel a hot, white sensation of blood flow all over those arms, all over, going from the skewness Amount going from the skewedious part of your muscle, not amount, and then distributing it all around the other components of the arm. Keep the bicep curl going. We are going to merge it, swap it, blend it into a shoulder press. After five, four, three, two, one, bicep curl, shoulder press. Bicep curl, shoulder press. 
Bicep curl, shoulder press. Good work, good work. The internet is unstable. Just bear with me. Keep on going. You gotta do a bicep curl with a shoulder press at the moment. And then what we're gonna do, we're gonna swap it. Side lateral raises, bicep curl, shoulder press. Three, two, one. Side lateral raises, bicep curl, shoulder press. Side lateral raises, bicep curl, shoulder press. Wicked. After 10 more seconds, we are gonna add a front raise after the side lateral raise and blend it to a bicep curl and a shoulder press. After three, two, one, side lateral raise, front raise, bicep curl, shoulder press. Side lateral raise, front raise, bicep curl, shoulder press. Keep this going. Side lateral raise, front raise, bicep curl, shoulder press. We have got the last 10 seconds to go through this 10 minutes of feasting. Well done, well done. Great work, great work. It went a bit better shape, but it got there. Well done, hydrate. Awesome work, everyone, awesome work. Small breather. And I'm going to go with eight minutes. We're gonna go last eight minutes. After the eight minutes, we're gonna go into a stretch and cool down. So we have beasted it. Well done. Now, the last, ten, the last eight minutes, they will be a mixture of things. Some movements you've done, some movements you haven't. You're going to need a kettlebell to begin with. We're gonna hold it in between our legs and get the legs really, really wide. And we're gonna go into sumo deadlifts. After that, we are gonna drop the kettlebell and we are gonna go into air squats, just normal air squats. And then we're gonna go from the air squats into squat jumps, squat jumps. Then we're gonna go into reverse lunges. After we go into reverse lunges, we're gonna get the dumbbells and we're gonna go into side lateral raises and forward lunges. So there's going to be quite a lot of stuff going on right now. And my memory will obviously not serve me correctly, but I will try my best to serve you in the way that we will shift the body. So, this is it. Final eight minutes, lady and gent. Wide stance, wide as you can. Knees in line with the toes, hip hinge down, and we sumo deadlift. Sumo deadlift. There we go. Sumo deadlift. Make sure the knees, the hips, all align. Make sure the knees, and the toes all alive. Everything awesome, well done. Now, after 15 seconds, we will let go of the kettlebell and go into air squats. Your air squats will be closer than a sumo squat, but what we can do is gather momentum, gather rhythm from all of the exposure of our aerobic capacity that we have given today. Five, four, three, two, one, and we go. Air squats, air squats, air squats. There we go. 10 seconds of air squats. After 10 seconds of air squats, what we're gonna do is go into squat jumps. After 10 seconds of air squats, we're gonna go into squat jumps. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and squat jumps. Squat, jumps, squat, jumps. That's it. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Back into air squats. Back into air squats. Back into air squats. That pump is extraordinary. Well done. Awesome work, ladies and gents. Awesome work. Yes. Keep it going. Nice and tight. Brilliant work. After five seconds, we're gonna go into reverse lunges. Three, two, one. Reverse lunges. Alternate the legs into reverse lunges. Keep the front leg solid. Obviously flex at the knee. Keep your hips solid. Obviously elasticated, allowing the movement back. 
And what we want to be doing is as the knee trails, as the leg trails, we don't allow the knee to touch the floor. Keep it all constant, keep it all tight. Remember, it's reverse lunges, reverse. And then what I'd like you to do is grab the dumbbells, the weights that you had previously. And we are going to go into front lunges, front lunges, five, four, three, two, one, alternate. Just hold the weights by your side. Hold the weights by your side. Nice and tight. That's it. After five seconds, we're going to add a side lateral raise. After five seconds, a side lateral raise with the lunge. Five, four, three, two, one. Lunge, side lateral raise. Lunge with the other leg, side lateral raise. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Change the side lateral raise to a bicep curl. Lunge, hold the lunge statically, bicep curl. So we're lunging, bicep curling. Lunging, bicep curling. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, one. Now we are bicep curling with one leg, side lateral raising with the other. Alternate the legs, alternate the movement. Bicep curl with a front lunge and a side lateral raise at an angle with another lunge. Alternate in the lunges, alternate in the movements. Keep this going. We've got another three and a half minutes left. You can do this. We're going to do this particular movement for the next 10 seconds. We're going to drop the weight. We are going to get on the bench and we're going to go into the tricep dips. Five, four, three, two, one. And the stability of the, of the internet is back on and get yourself onto a bench, onto a seat and we are going to dip. We are going to dip. Yes, great work, great work. Keep this going, dip. After five seconds, we're gonna let one leg extend forward and we're gonna go into pistol dips. Three, two, one. One leg gets extended, hovers above the ground and you are now pistol dipping. Pistol dipping, 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Extend the other leg, extend the other leg, and pistol dip with the other leg. Pistol dip with the other leg. Ten, nine, eight, those triceps should be burning. Seven, six, five, four, three, two. Get yourself up. Get a cowbell. And we go through the figure eight, figure eight, going back to that midsection, feeling the hamstrings, feeling the hips, feeling that midsection, just work. Give it some undeniable work. There we go. Keep the focus on the midsection. Make sure that your body is solid, tight, and with all of the confusion that is going on in your mind right now, we have to clear it, disperse it, think, focus, smell that clean oxygen out, oxygenated out, getting into them lungs, facilitating that pump, and giving us one of the best experiences that we can possibly ask of ourselves as humans on an agenda, on a movement, on a focus to be better, because we can only be better together. So together we go for another 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 kettlebell on the floor. Clean it, squat it, press it. We clean it, squat it, press it. When we flip the kettlebell, make sure your elbows 
are higher than your wrist on the way up and on the way down as we flip the kettlebell from getting into the position of false and then returning back to the original star. We are going to change arms in five, four, three, two, one. We have got the final 20 seconds, lady and gent. Make sure these seconds are the ones that count the most. Everything about this movement, have it purposely, meaningfully, strong, tight, focused. Three, two, one. Well done, everyone. Well done. Awesome work. Awesome work. Great work. Well done. Well done. Right, hydrate yourselves. Small stretch, small cool down. You have done awesomely well. Awesomely well. Whoever's got a my zone belt around their chest, they do slip, don't they? Right then. Let us just keep with this music. Bring it down slightly. Okay, we're gonna go into some stretches. We've worked the upper body quite extensively. So let's just focus on the upper body. Give it all the attention it deserves. So, plant your feet slightly wider than shoulder width. Take a deep breath in through the nose. It's not gonna be easy, but just try it. Allow the belly to expand as you take that breath in. It might take you a few tries. Just keep on going, be persistent. Take a couple of breaths in through the nose. Feel your belly expand. As you're taking the breath in, be conscious that your shoulders are not elevating. Be conscious that they are being suppressed down so that the only thing you are breathing from is the diaphragm, the midsection, feeling that belly protrude out as you breathe in. So feel the belly rise, feel the belly fall. Once you get that rhythm and you become more settled, more zen with your feel, we're gonna raise our arms up, right to the top, right to the top. And then we're gonna grab one elbow, we're gonna grab one elbow, and we're gonna pull the elbow down. We're gonna pull the elbow down. As we pull the elbow down, we're gonna be stretching the tricep. As we tr stretch the tricep, we're gonna get a nice pull on that tricep and then take a deep breath in through the nose and then we're gonna go into a side bend as we allow that breath to come out through the mouth, make it quite vocal, get a nice oblique, lat, rib cage, armpit, tricep stretch. Feeling it on the outside of the hips. And then what we're gonna do is return back to the middle, raise our arms up, and then slowly bring our arms down so we get the full effect of the circulation and the flow. Be aware of your body, celebrate your body, acknowledge your body, welcome whatever you're giving your body. So the other side, we are now going into a tricep stretch on the other side. We're gonna take a deep breath in through our nose and then as we let the air out, we're gonna be side bending. As we side bend, we're gonna feel the hips opening up, the obliques, rib cage, armpit. Make sure that your elbows are quite flared throughout this movement so we don't want you closing in on yourself. And then when you're ready, you're just gonna remain upright, allow the arms to slowly come down so you feel that circulatory glory of flow. After that, we're gonna hip hinge right down Hip hinge right down, as low as you can go. And then we're gonna flex at the knee if you need to, so you can touch the floor. And then we're gonna walk out, and we're gonna go into an inverted V, which is the downward facing dog. Have your head down, stretch the calves down, so your heels are touching the floor. That's where we want the motion to go to. And after that, what we're gonna do is collapse the knee, and then we're gonna 
Allow our arms to go a bit more forward and then our hips are going to hinge over so that our thighs are on the floor and we are now going into a cobra stretch. So we're going to hold that cobra stretch. Holding that cobra stretch, taking a deep breath in through the nose, expanding that belly, letting go of that air and then coming up to the tabletop again, coming up to the tabletop and placing your hands underneath your shoulders, push the ground away, dig your toes into the ground so that you've got stability, go back into the temporary downward facing dog, walk your feet to your hands, flex at the knee, slide your hands up the top of the foot and we're sliding the hands up the shin and we're coming up over the knee, sliding the hands up the thigh, noticing that our body is naturally coming up, releasing our hands from our thigh and then reaching up to the sky. Leaning back slightly so that we can go into a supine, taking a deep breath in through the nose, welcoming the morning, welcoming the world, living an optimal life because you have just performed optimal level. Take a moment to think about a word that is going to categorize your day into moving forward and owning, owning your day. And that is my word, owning the day. Well done everyone, well done.